Friday, February 16th, 2024. Written by Zueria Hunyu. My mother had hopes that her first-born daughter was going to have a very big wedding that would be the talk of our village. She was shocked when she noted that I was pregnant and was not ready for marriage. The truth was that I was not in love with the father of my child, and I just wanted to prove to myself that I was not a lesbian. Nobody understood why I refused to get married, and the man was ready to marry me. I was not ready to enter into a loveless marriage, and I chose the most difficult path of raising my child as a single parent. My mother was so heartbroken by my decision. She was shamed by her woman friends as she was blamed of my decision. The Women Church Council was so mean to her that I demoted her from her role as their chair lady. In frustration, my mother sent me away. I had brought shame to her, and she didn't want to see me. I went to stay with my aunt until I gave birth to my beautiful girl, and that is when my mom came for me and took me back home. I knew I would bring more frustration if I stayed at home for long. My longest nightmare was if my secret of being a lesbian was known. I was scared of putting my mother through a bigger shame. I was so relieved when I left our village and got employed at a beauty shop. I was so dedicated to learn about this business because it was the only chance I had of changing my future and that of my daughter. My employer got a chance to go outside the country for greener pastures. He sold the business to me at a very reasonable price and I paid with installments. The challenge I had was that I had no money to expand my business. My daughter needed school fees, and I had bills to pay. I prayed Psalm 25. I thought of what would happen if my business failed, the shame of going back home, the shame of failing as a parent, and worst of all, the shame that I would put my mother through because of my failures again. I prayed and fasted, trusting God for a miracle, and just as I was about to give up, I was introduced to parity. I applied for a business grant that was approved almost immediately. I restocked my business and paid bills that were so pressing. Psalm 25 verse 10, All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of his covenant. LGBTQ plus persons have been subjected to shame and very difficult trials. This is the perfect time to come back to God in repentance. Let us cry out to God and seek him for his wisdom. Our God is loving and faithful.